And a good day, everybody. John Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another rambling edition. White t-shirt. Holes. Yeah. Well, it's about, I guess, in the evening I'm doing this video. Perfect time to have, of course, a stout this time of night. And that is the infamous, world-renowned KBS stout. Kentucky Breakfast Stout, as that may be. Highly acclaimed, definitely. I uh, did this the other day with um, on Stout Sunday. I decided to go ahead and bring a beer in. I haven't done a Stout Sunday maybe, what, since they started the thing. Uh, maybe I did it on the show one time. I brought a different style of beer or, or something, or a few times I came on. And In any event, uh, so have the Stout, so I say, hey. So I brought it in, joined the guys, talked about it, and it was my first time having it. Now my first time reviewing this beer. Um, let me just say, this beer's not cheap, folks. It ain't cheap at all. Not at all. I think I paid, I found this at Greer's Cash Saver, I paid about, what, five bucks for this 12-ounce bottle? Or maybe Ronald J. Terrio likes to say, Louisiana Beer Reviews. 11 and a half ounce bottle, but anyway, I sat this out and let it warm up. I gotta stop doing that. My teeth are not a can opener. My teeth are not a can opener. Anyway, world class score, solid 100 on beer advocate. Uh, rate beer gives it a 99, might be 102. So. Yeah, like I said, I sat this out on the counter, took it out of my cooler, let it kind of sit on the table, let it warm up a little bit for about a good 25 minutes. So, see what the beer looks like. Like I said, I was shocked to find it at Greer's Cash Saver. I was like, in, in the Mobile, uh, what store in Mobile I found it, but I bought it and I'm like, mmm, well, well, ooh. And the price, and I said, mmm. Five dollars. Uh, so I bought it. Of course, the stout it is stored in oak barrel bourbon barrels. Give the fullness and texture. Now it is an imperial stout, American. Um, as I said, I, I love stouts. And if you watch my videos, I've always said stouts should be drunk this time in the winter months. Um, looking at the website, it says it's available from January to December, which, you know, that, if it says January through December through the hyphen on the website, that means it also includes July, maybe May, maybe parts of September, where it's still kind of warm, you know. But, as I said, to me, November depends where you live across the country, you know. When it gets a little frosty, a little cool, a little cool, not cold, but a bit cool. Other places, bone chilling cold. And that's when stouts are a good time to consume. That's just my opinion. So, immediately, just oh, everything this just brings to you just the chocolate, the coffee. Mm, you, you already get the scent of the. The bourbon flavor the scent just come right through your nose right there. Maybe a little touch of molasses, but man, it's like a you know, it's like a nightcap, it's like a dessert, you know, like you have a go to bed with a you know chocolate chip cookie and a cold glass of milk. That's kind of how I look at this. Or apple pie and a glass of milk, whatever. Let's kind of look at this a nice nightcap. Cognac, cognac, if you want to do a cognac nightcap, yeah. But this is a nightcap, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Lovely. It's fragrant, everything, so. Oh, man. Wow. Everything everybody said about this beer and everyone who's reviewed it, and I've seen several reviews from everyone from, of course, Jay to this person, that person. Uh, Rod J, of course, 
Thomas Metal 75, John and Neely. I mean, everyone who's tried this, uh, Whiskey Stat Scout, right? Um, everyone who's tried this has said this is just a, uh, just a phenomenal beer, and it is. I mean, very creamy, smooth, just just goes down nice and well. You get all the flavors that you want, chocolate and just the coffee flavors, but they, they kind of balance out. They're kind of very equal. Not one is overdoing the other, so. Um, I'm trying to think of uh, one stout, I would say, that was really, well... Oscar Blues, let's take that back, did their bourbon barrel. I think that's still available. Of uh, their of the bur the bourbon barrel flavored of the 1050. I think that again, I think it's still available out there right now. So I had tried it and I said, Hmm, this is alright. This is quite good. Um and that was at 12.5%, but you immediately went to it. But it was just a, like a boom, like, woo, that bourbon is like kicking ass. You know, it was 12%. It was a bomber. But, you know, well done, beverage. But, yeah, the price was a little bit much. I think I paid 11 It was six an ounce can. I think I paid 8 or $9 for that can, for that one can. Yeah, folks, like I said, I'm very conscious with my money. And when I saw that, I was like, mm, mm mm. So, mm -mm. can't do that. No, 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 no. So, um, the list of others that I've had, um, as some of you will all know, that I, I enjoy, of course, Oscar Blues, the 1050, the original, that's 10.5, Old Rasputin, Lagunitas, Imperial Stout. Sadly, it's not available anywhere in my town, so I would have to go trolley around maybe another state to get it, and that's something I don't want to do. Mm. Get it together, Alabama. Um... Sierra Nevada does a, a, a nice stout that's pretty good. Um, I've had the uh, Parish Brewing Company down in Bruce, down in Bristol, Louisiana. Their um, their Rev Coffee um, chocolate sort of balanced stout. Of course, New uh, the Holland Brewing Company, New Holland, with the the Dragon's Milk Stout. That's incredible. As well, so um, again, love stouts. Um, you know, particularly the imperial kind, the Russian kind, where they're kind of full of flavor, full of punch, alcohol-wise, which really I dig a lot. So, really bounce out the maltiness, the creaminess of it. It just really stands out. Now, of course, Guinness, foreign extra stout. Um, that's a good in between of the imperial and regular stouts. That's is at six percent, and that really has a really good balance of sweetness, but also has sort of the bitterness and tartness of what the Guinness Extra Stout is. Um, so, um, which Guinness Extra Stout does not have any sweetness at all, none. So, um. And for us Caribbean folks, yeah, who do, who do drink Guinness Stout, we like, I don't know why, now we like our, you know, maybe I still, still do. Caribbean folks, I don't know what it is, we love our stouts cold. I don't, now learning the beer knowledge, you know, it's best to have your stout in more of a 50 degree kind of lukewarm tension, not cold like, you know, 45 degree, you know, 30 degrees, you know, maybe... A bit slight warm is a good thing. I mean, it'd be better, but but my dad has had it for that's my dad's favorite beer. One of two favorite beers he likes. He likes that. He likes Heineken and you know a few uh, Prestige, which is from Haiti. All those But anyway, 
Not to go on and on and on about this video, this is an exceptional beer, world class without question. This is a solid 100% A plus beer. Everything you want is a dessert beer. If you want to pair this with some vanilla ice cream or butter pecan ice cream, you can do that all in a good day. Nothing wrong with that. Again, great pairing. Just a thought. Anyway, this is a solid A plus for me. This is a 98 for the KBS Founders KBS flavored stout. Barrel age. John is appear the beverage ramble team. Keep on watching as always. Cheers, live, laugh, and love. KBS, KBS, no? Stout. Love, love.